Hi everyone, I'm Mike and I want to share some of my electronics projects with you. Specifically, MIDI music projects I've been working on over the years. And I'm going to show you how to build a simple and cheap MIDI chord controller using a PIC 16F1829. It's quite a novel design and needs a bit of background and explanation as to how it came about. So let's get started. 20 years ago I built this. It's a four string guitar type MIDI controller using a PIC 16F84. This was a popular microcontroller for hobbyists at the time. It has four rubber strings made from a bicycle inner tube pressing down on tactile switches and it sounds like this. Pretty crude, but it worked. Just an on-off switch and MIDI out, which has to go to a MIDI sound module or keyboard or something similar to generate the instrument sounds. I'm using a homemade MIDI sound generator which uses the SAM2195 chip. I also built this smaller one which uses a VS1053. Well, I lost interest in this project and thought there must be a better and easier way to play guitar chords, so I came up with this. It's also a MIDI controller which needs an external sound module and it has only five chord buttons and eight string touch sensors but can play 48 different chords. Like this. I added some more controls here to select different instruments, hammer on off and octave up down. It also uses a 16F84 with three more CMOS chips for the touch sensors. I'll explain how it works in more detail a bit further on in this video. I was granted a patent for this design. This led me to design my next instrument, the Rainbow Easy Chord, and this is it. The Rainbow part, by the way, is my surname, not something I made up. This is the board from the Easy Chord, and it uses two 18F452 picks. One is a controller, and the other is a sound generator. It has MIDI out so it can drive an external sound module or music keyboard as well. The circuit was getting quite complex and I later condensed it all down to a single propeller chip which is basically an 8 core 32 bit processor in one 40 pin package. The, the propeller could do the touch sensor strings, controls, MIDI out and also generate some very nice instrument sounds all by itself. Anyway, this is how the Easy Chord works. There are four main chord buttons which select the root of the chord using binary numbers. So this button represents 1, this one is 2, 
This one is 4 and this one is 8, generating a 4-bit binary number from 1 to 15. Pressing the first button and strumming the strings we get A major, 2 gives us B major, 3, which is buttons 1 and 2 together, gives us C major, and so on. D, E, F, and G. Seven positions to memorize, which doesn't take long at all. I found that kids pick it up very quickly indeed. The fourth button is used to sharpen the chord. A sharp or B flat, C sharp or D flat and so on. So now we can select one of 12 root chords. I added one more chord button to this design so the total number of possible chords goes up to 72. Pressing this button gives us the minor and this one gives us augmented chords. Both together gives a diminished chord. You can get major 7th and suspended 4th chords by selecting alternative chords on the control buttons. But what about 7th chords I hear you say? Well for those we go to the string touch sensors and the first 7 strings play notes of the chord. In this case C major. If we play the 8th string which is shorter than the others we get the 7th note, which gives us C7. The string is shorter, so we can play C or C7 without any difficulty. Likewise, it's easy to play all the minor 7th chords. Here's a really interesting fact about minor 7th chords, which I only found out about a few years ago after playing guitar and keyboards for more than 50 years. A friend who plays guitar far better than I do pointed out that the notes in a minor 7th chord are identical to the notes in a 6th chord three semitones higher. Don't believe me? Let me show you on a keyboard. This is A minor. And if we add the 7th, it becomes A minor 7th. Now this is C major, and if we add the 6th, we get this, C6. C6, A minor 7th, exactly the same notes. So we can add 12 more chords to our selection on the easy chord, because all the minor 7th chords have an equivalent major 6th chord. How about that? I also built an easy bass, which is this one. It's monophonic, like a real bass guitar, that is, it plays only one note at a time. It has 12 touch sensor strings. So you select a chord as before and play individual bass notes like this. I thought it was pretty cool. Then there were two mini easy chords and a travel easy chord, which worked in the same way as the big one but were more portable. Finally there's what I call the chord stick, which is a simple circuit using a pick 
16F628A to generate six square wave notes of a chord which is then filtered and goes through a simple envelope shaper. It works but the sound is very basic. Just another one of my experiments. In my next video I'll show you how to build a very cheap and simple chord MIDI controller using a PIC 16F1829 and a handful of components. Total cost around five pounds. Here's my prototype built on stripboard. You can make the layout any way you like. I wanted to stick this in a small box so I could carry it around with me. Or you could lay it out like an auto harp or with strings and buttons like on my easy chord. The possibilities are endless. It has 10 touch sensor strings and in its simplest five button form can play 48 different chords and 72 chords if you add another button and extra chord tables in the code. I'll put a link below to the schematic and code for this project so you can have a look if you're interested. Well there you have it. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you'll join me again in my next video where I'll show you how to build the Easy Chord Controller. Thanks for watching.